How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, I've been down sick. I think I had some food poisoning or something. But I was knocked down. I mean, knocked down. I was watching videos, but I was knocked down. I feel much better. Um, I'm back on my grind, my royal family. And this one of them videos. You got to go get your shit. Oh, yeah. You got to go get your shit. Boy, when I come back, I come back with the juiciness. Oh, yeah. I mean, real type of juicy. And on top of that, I got a bonus, my royal family. I got a bonus or uh, audio that's double juicy. Oh, yeah. So, you know, y'all, you know, let me just tell y'all my royal family. For the most part, this always have your shit on deck. You know, your weed, your popcorn. I got my grape juice. Plenty ice. Plenty lemon. So, this one of them long videos. Lean all up in it. So, this is uh, this mayor here. Mayor here. Let's get a good look at him. Mayor here. Let's get a good look at you. Mayor Bob Ortico. I know some of y'all heard of it. <laughs> About to deliver, boy. Dude, you been fucking up real bad. Real bad. So what I got to do, I got to show a vid, some videos, read an article. And then I'm going to bring that bonus. Then we're going to go back after the bonus. And we're going to watch a particular video all right so let's lean back up in it so i'll just play the video and let the video you know speak for itself and then i'm gonna go you know do explaining and do it true royal style and all of that and i'm stalling right now so you go get your shot all right my royal family let's get all up in it see how the mayor really gets down <laughs> in black with the pigs oh i'm about to expose your racist ass so i'm gonna read this little article my royal family so L lawyers Lawrence O'Reilly and Michael Baker announced at a news conference on Monday afternoon that they have filed paperwork for the preservation of evidence in the cases of their clients, Victor Williams and Jamal Smith. The two men involved with an altercation invo involving Mayor um, Bob um, O'Derrick or whatever, however you say his name, that's a crazy last name. That was that spell D-E-K-I-R-K and several other officers at the Juliet Police Department. We want to preserve all evidence related to this incident, Baker said. That's their lawyer. No, let's not lose sight. 
So, you know, on May 31st, the mayor is seen pulling a black man down to the ground doing the Black Lives Matters protests. In a video that has been widely circulated, once the men later identified as Williams is brought um, over towards a Juliet Police Department car, the police officers can be seen beating him. Oh, I got video, my royal family. You know I got the juiciness. You know I deliver. His brother Smith is seen on the video as well. Baker emphasized that while many in the city has taken a side as to whether they want to see, oh, Derek or whatever, resign. That's the mayor. I'll just say the mayor because his name is so hard to explain, to pronounce, excuse me, resign over the incident. He did not want to see the case forgot what the Juliet police officer are seen doing. They are throwing down rainmakers, Baker said in an interview after the news conference describing the manner in which police punched Williams while he was on the ground. Both men were hospitalized after the incident, although both O'Reilly and Baker declined to share details of their client's injuries. The investigation into um, the mayor was turned over to the Illinois State Police, but the charges against Williams and Smith remain unknown. According to O'Reilly, the bond paperwork on both men um, um, the, um, indicate charges of aggressive assault and mob action. But as of Monday, their charges have not been officially filed. O'Reilly also noted that the request for turning over their clients' cases to the, the Illinois State Police was inspired by an unlikely phone call. I was a little encouraged that it was the chief of police who called to ask, to ask me for the independent investigation. Oh, okay, they want an independent investigation. He said, referencing Juliet, chief of police. During the news conference, the lawyers explained that they, what they saw on video. In the moment leading up to the video where Mr. Williams is walking in a direction, the, in the direction, the street, you could see the mayor standing there. Now they didn't know that was the mayor. He dressed in black. He was on a hoo ride. He was there to be some ass. I'm telling you, they cracking my royal family. And the video showed them walking behind Mr. Williams, sort of instructing people to go home. Baker said, our client's video didn't exactly show exactly what was, what, uh, what was exchanged in terms of words. But the next thing you know, the mayor grabs Williams by, by the, um, um, the area around his neck. They love going for the neck and pushes him violently, and ultimately they end up on the ground. O'Reilly um, clarifies that Williams, now Williams is his client, was grabbed as trying to explain to the mayor that he was walking a different way than instructed so that he could meet up with his brother. He also added that if a citizen had done what the mayor did, they would have been charged with a crime. The focus of this investigation should be on the mayor and his actions. And, and as Michael pointed out, now Michael is the um, is one of the uh, attorneys who have um, um, directed a letter to the chief of police asking that an independent investigation take place by the state police. O'Reilly said, we believe they um, did that. Charges should and will be dismissed against our clients and charges should seriously be considered against the mayor. Mm -hmm. O'Reilly also noted that Williams was wearing a mask during the incident and could, could, ooh, could not have spit on the mayor. Lord have mercy. Uh -huh, somebody lying. Although, although there has been discussions to whether the mayor was wearing a Juliet police um, police department hat that night. That has not 
been confirmed O'Reilly and Baker did confirm that on the night neither Williams nor Smith knew that the man in question was the mayor both lawyers also confirmed that they are in possession of additional footage the true royal have for the night but they are not releasing those yet I got those because folks leak things we just want to make sure we review everything we have uh, responsibly and release it Baker said after the press conference juicy if the charges are not dropped Williams and Smith have a court date which would be July 2nd all right so we're gonna get some more into the juiciness so just to let the royal family know that this uh racist to the core ass mayor um one time was a cop and he was feeling some kind of way, you know, because he got Trumpism in him. And they, you know, they, they cracking because folks been damn near on them streets for two weeks marching. It's affecting their bottom line because they thought they was going to have that, you know, that four phase plan and open up their little townships and get their economy stimulated. Well, since then, the uh, mayor is going to the people and trying to to explain things and people not feeling it, you know, and then he going as far with this bullshit and we need to stop this. Now he won't take a knee. Ain't it ironic that they taking the knee? I predicted four years ago, no, almost four years ago, my royal family. And I'm going to show that video. I have a video in my archives that I got to dig up that, when you look at it spiritually, the world is taking a knee to the royal family. What well, we are watching, my royal family, we are watching the enemy become the tail. Yes, and we are becoming the head. And it's moving rapidly. Look at it spiritually. Like I often say, my royal family. So as we continue on, um, let's watch this little snippet of a video, and then we're going to get into that juicy stuff. Oh, yeah, that real juicy, juicy, like I always bring. We begin with a growing controversy over a confrontation caught on video, Joliet. The mayor is seen during an altercation with a demonstrator here, and today the people involved are demanding action from the city. Here's NBC 5's Chris Coffey. Today in Joliet, friends and family voiced their support for Victor Williams and his brother Jamal Smith. Williams and Smith face assault and mob action charges stemming from an incident last week with Joliet Mayor Bob Odekirk. If a picture speaks a thousand words, the videos speak a million. NBC5 does not have video showing what happened prior to the incident, but this video shows Odekirk, a former police officer, approaching Williams and taking him to the ground during a clash between police and protesters. Their attorneys argue the crowd had already dispersed from this location and that Victor was trying to find his brother Jamal. We have a law in this country called Defense of Others, and Jamal was going to aid his brother, who he saw only being tackled by a white man and knew nothing else about the man, and then he himself was thrown to the ground and beaten. Attorneys say it should have been an opportunity for the mayor to heal a divided community. Instead, Mayor Oderkirk chose to divide the city further by his own violent actions towards a citizen of this community. And in doing so, he told us exactly what he stands for. The mayor declined to comment today, but has said he was acting in self-defense. Meanwhile, Will County has asked the Illinois State Police to investigate and the attorneys for Williams and Smith have requested the city of Joliet keep all evidence related to the incident. Their citizen were walking around the streets with a police hat on mm -hmm. and were directing people where they could and could not go mm -hmm. and then were to grab somebody and take them down to the ground. Any one of us would have been arrested. In Joliet, Chris Coffey, NBC5 News. So, okay, let me take that down. Tropical depression. Let's go back over here. So the mayor is out in the streets of Juliet on a whole ride. Let's go back. 
He got on this black. He got on his tennis shoes. He ready to be some ass. Look at him. Look at him. You know? He watching that shit on TV. He said, I want to get me one in. Well. What occurs, my royal family, is a, a concerned citizen has something to say. And this ain't new. This audio, you about to hear, my royal family. Juliet resident comes to the defense, okay, of the mayor, because I, I can't properly pronounce his fucked up last name. Ooh, I got some bonus stuff. Bunch of, I, I got even a bonus um video, too. Some videos, too. And we're going to go back and review. This woman, Mari Perez, from the Turk Furniture Studio Line, joins us this morning. Mari, thank you very much for coming on. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, Mari, you were out and about Sunday night during the protesting and subsequent rioting and looting. And In fact, uh, I saw... Facebook post from you, I was up covering the story and you were hitting me with messages saying how terrible it is. I'm, I'm looking at them right now. So you were out and about on Jefferson Street at the time of this incident. Thank you very much for coming on. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Scott. Okay, well, tell us tell us what you saw. Well, first of all, what, what were you doing out? Were you peacefully protesting or were you just like so many other people taking in the horrific scenes of what were, of what was going on? No, I was out peacefully protesting, just trying to keep the peace within the community. I had already heard that there was a lot of cars piling up, that there was a lot of people. It was almost as if it was a parade. And I said, there can't be people hanging out their vehicles, loud music, um, if it was a parade. So that's what got me out there. And when I seen it, I immediately put a post on Facebook, as you mentioned. Yeah. Um, I can't go live on Facebook, but I did post that you know, we need help out here. And I, I said, hey, any community activists, please get out here. The police need our support. Um, our community needs to get out here, the leaders, because it was that horrific. I mean, people were, young people, young adults, hanging out their windows. All you heard was a foul language and, and the number 12 referencing the police. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was havoc. It was a havoc. I, I got out my vehicle. I parked my vehicle several times and tried to assist to even calm down the people that were, you know, cussing at them and video recording. I mean, there were several different incidents. Uh, I watched as Officer McCauley almost got hit by a vehicle on Larkin and Jefferson trying to cross the street. Um, I was, you know, assisting, just standing by, uh, trying to calm down the, the looters that were provoking uh, a, a fight, if you would, yeah. to, to happen with the police officers as they were trying to get somebody into an ambulance. I was there with Officer Hanson. And I was walking, doing a lot of walking, just trying to tell these young people, look, I get it. We're all on the same. We're all in this together. We all want justice for George Floyd, but just taking away from the message. Yep. And, and taking away behavior. So with all that said, let's get to the actual incident in question. As I mentioned, we've talked with the mayor. We show the video, talked to the videographer. We talked to the eyewitness who is the videographer. Where were you right before midnight? Jefferson near Stryker when this all went down? I was positioned on Jefferson in front of Silver Spoon. Okay. And what I witnessed was a, bunch, a group of kids, young adults, I shouldn't say kids, young adults, um, they were throwing cans and bottles, water bottles, across at the police. The mayor was with the police, they're throwing it at them. The video doesn't show that part of it. As you see, the people are walking from that uh, center, if you would, of the parking lot by the sidewalk, they're walking like towards the Silver Spoon, towards my direction. Mm -hmm. And as they're walking, you can see where uh, the police grabbed one of them. The, it was, I don't know if it was a sergeant or a lieutenant. He grabbed one and he took towards the vehicle. And then you can see where the mayor crosses over and he's telling everybody, come on, everybody go home, that's it, it's over, you know, everybody go home. 
it was peaceful. I didn't even, you know, get the impression from his demeanor as he's telling everybody as if he was mad. It was more, it's over, come on, everybody just go home. He was trying to calm and diffuse the situation. When you see this young man from behind, because the mayor had already passed them, the young man crosses over to the sidewalk. As he's walking, he walks towards the mayor, and what I observed was him pushing the mayor. I don't know if he spat, but he definitely said something you got like he something he has on him and so immediately the mayor grabbed him after he was pushed and and after i don't know if he was you know what he did of of, of like whatever he did when he touched the mayor when he when he brushed up against him i don't know if he spat on him that i don't know but i do know is that he was like basically mocking what he did after he pushed the mayor with his body the mayor did grab him and the mayor tried to like hold him for like the officer the guy you can't really see it in the video, but the guy is pushing with his legs. He wasn't like just standing there. He was pushing like to get released. And that's when the mayor like kind of walked him back, like pushed him back towards the officers. Yeah. And then the officers. rest of it we do see, right. Yeah, the rest of it we do see on, on both but, videos. But, but what you don't see on that video, and I want to make sure it's very clear, okay. if you notice, the recorder turned to the street as the mayor got pushed. And that's what people don't see. And I think that's what's very disturbing. And that's why I had to speak Okay. You know, I couldn't remain silent because it, it's wrong what happened. Okay. And and that's what the ISP is going to figure out, or, or maybe if Kwame Raul takes this and the Attorney General takes this, because yesterday T told us that uh, you could see the... 20, I think the kid's 23 years old, the 23-year-old uh, protester slash rioter slash victim, whatever side you're on, we're going to mention all three so we don't get accused of, of being biased. Um, we, he says his hands are up. You didn't see his hands up. You saw him actually make contact with the mayor. Absolutely not. His hands were not up. He pushed the mayor. He pushed the mayor with his body and his hands, and you don't see that. But if you, what you do see on the video, I captured a bit of it, He's not. He's walking on the sidewalk, and then he starts to walk towards the pavement. The mayor did not move from the pavement, the black pavement of that parking lot. The mayor was still on the pavement of that parking lot. That gentleman walked from the sidewalk to the black pavement, crossing over, and brushed the mayor and pushed him. I seen it. Um, they turned the camera away to the street at that point, and you don't see. You don't see it. You know what I mean? Uh, you sure. only see where he crosses onto the pavement. The camera gets turned to the street, and that's where you miss the guy pushing the mayor and like i said i don't know what he did but i did hear him and if you go back to that video and you hear it he is saying what he did to the mayor and again i, I don't know if he spat on him but he's definitely telling them you have that you you know you have it on you now like where he put on the mayor okay Marty, how long have you lived in the city of joliet i've been here for 20 years what does um, all of this mean to you someone who has invested their life and chose to live here what what is what what you saw on sunday night what what did that do to you as a resident as a resident it was very disturbing i felt like oh my god this is hopeless um i've i've bought my home 20 years ago i've been a year uh, a 20 year resident here i've never seen something so horrific the amount of disrespect the amount of aggression that i witnessed and I was so surprised that there was no community activists out there on them streets trying to get some of them people to go home. It was horrific. I saw young people hanging out their vehicles with loud music. They were cussing. They were throwing things from water bottles. Yeah, and they were fanning the flames. Absolutely. I've never seen it, and I felt so bad for JPD. And you know what, Scott? I'll be the first one to say many people know I've been very vocal about violence plaguing our communities when it comes to the gang uh, that we have here, the gangs um, doing bad things in our community. But I will say that since I spoke at the town hall meeting, JPD has stopped. I've seen a big change. I feel much safer. Uh, and, and I will say I bumped heads with the mayor many times, you know, especially when it comes to regards to North Point. I, I have no, there's no bias in me. There's no reason for me to, to say this. I just can't remain silent when okay. I know this is wrong. Monty, and thank you. Just... Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us on WJ. This bitch is lying, and I'm going to prove it. So before I show some bonus videos, we're going to go back to the original video. You heard what she said. 
All right. Bottles flying every which way, implying that this brother spit, but he had on a mask. <laughs> Now, if you notice my royal family, when the mayor was telling them what he was telling them, he was trying to explain something to him. And when he grabbed him, because I'm going to show it again, even though his hands was up, his hands were out. So let's skip a little bit of this. So we don't have to watch the whole thing. We'll start right around here, 20 seconds. And um, before I get into it, I see no bottles nowhere you notice the things that she was saying she was saying a lot transpired in a few seconds and everything that she said that she's seeing um you don't see that on camera this ain't the first time one of them demons didn't call one of these radio stations and sway up and down they seen all of this and see you gotta trip off of how the enemy get down they feel like what come out of their mouth is gospel. The parts that ain't seen. No, no, we got to see it. And all that, what, what we didn't see, didn't happen. So let's pay attention again. Even a, this kid here that got pulled over for no reason. You see, immediately he threw his hands up in the air. So let's see what's going on. And keep in mind, I know that young man did not know that that was the mayor. And it don't matter or not. You don't have nobody just grabbing up on you like that. And you ain't did nothing wrong. You're looking for your family member. You can't look for your family member. You can't say nothing to nobody. They on that hostile kick. Here we go again. Now you see his brother came up behind. He didn't know who the hell was grabbing him. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to show it one more time. Then we're going to get into this bonus stuff. I'm just going to wig you out. Now you heard him say, my brother. Look at him. Instant anger. Instant anger. That's that demon in y'all ass. What's all this extraness for? See his hands? He, he, he See his hands? See his hands? Where's the bottles? Lying bitch. Then somebody running up on him. That's his uh, grabbing his brother dressed in black. What the hell was he supposed to do? Oh, yeah, y'all down for the funkiness. And I'm down with showing the bonusness. So 
Let's get a little deeper into these two next videos that I'm going to present to the royal family. Okay. So this one, okay, this one, this one is the one that we already seen. Oh, here comes some juiciness, my royal family, and I'll show it a couple of times, you know, to rub it in real deep like I usually do. They was beating the hell out of them. Did you see that? Did y'all see that? Let me cut a little bit of that down. And them cops were sitting there, you know, getting one in. See, you got busted on your bullshit. Now, she didn't talk about all that other stuff. Oh, no, she didn't talk about all that. She talked about what wasn't seen on camera. There's a lot of people out there with cameras. See, when you're lying, you know, you got to, you know, get your lie right and stuff. So now, like I said, this old um, punctified mayor, he running around to the community trying to explain things to folks and stuff. And, um... Some of our tired ass folks out there, out there taking a knee with them and stuff. They don't believe in none of that. That's the very thing that Lisa Cabrera been talking about. They don't believe in none of that. I'm going to tell you something. I got a very dear, dear friend that I went to high school with, her and her husband. And for a short, teeny time, they were police officers in San Francisco. And the way they was made up, I knew they weren't going to last. So I talked to her yesterday. And her um, daughter is a police officer in San Mateo, YouTube country, where their headquarters is and all of that. And she's a police officer. Her they daughter, they child ended up becoming a police officer. She took a knee the other day and they told her they didn't support what she doing. And then two other people took a knee and she um, just got up and left, left the job and stuff so all this little bullshit that you seeing i hear on these streets taking that knee and all of that like kd said the enemy and also the enemy supporters they running from judgment it don't matter what the fuck you do it don't matter how much money you put in you're gonna get this shit on your tail because we know what's deep in your heart like i said that mayor over there in indianapolis where floyd got kill when they started talking about defunding the police department and dismantling the, the police department the true bitch came out of him like i said he was i said he ain't nothing but a ribbon cutting kind of uh mayor he you know he likes to do all the little cutesy things you know um let's open up the country and do the uh, do the ribbon cutting and and the four phase plan and all of that no we gonna deal with core ass truth on the true royal family and true royal ain't it juicy my royal family when you expose they ass for they true ass nature i always deliver real sweet and juicy so my royal family render your voice with your beautiful divine words and it's always my royal family i thank you for your love I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shame.